So now we've moved into some real good reverse engineering on this Tesla battery. Not this one, this 100 kilowatt hour from a P100D, but from bits from a crashed S75. So this here is the BMS board, which lives in this end of the battery. So it lives under here, accessed by these terminals here. Um, and reports to the car how things are going, does all the control. Um, it also talks to, within the battery modules, these computers here. Now, the earlier video, we finally figured out how to work those with the help of a fantastic man named Sam okay. <laughs> and all of his decent electronics uh, gear. So he's brought himself, brought his scope over we have got the ESP32 Arduino with a can shield from EVTV. We've got the cheapest power supply AliExpress cells. And we've got Colin Kidder's GV Ret, um, no, sorry, Savvy Can, uh, can analysis tool on here, and his GV Ret software on here. All of this leads up to if we press this button here, we will get can codes here and we will see a can trace on here so three two one boing there you go so that's it spitting out can and over here are the actual messages so we've got the various different ids and we've got there we go 39 frames came out oh is it still going now we seem to have stopped capturing. There we go, it's stopped. Yeah. So this is as far as we've got. We've got, we found the correct terminals on here to give it power and to get CAN. We have, first of all, spotted CAN messages on there. Then we've got them on here. What we haven't understood is why after a certain number of messages, it just shuts down. So it's now not drawing any power. It's not sending any more CAN messages. We guess that we've got something missing from here. Maybe it's looking for an answer from the rest of the car. Maybe the fact that it doesn't have any of a battery plugged in here could be why it's shutting down. Regardless, this is epic progress for a Friday morning. And I think we should both take the afternoon off.